This is our thrift store gateway computer. It's a gateway MT6460. It's a model number. We're going to add a password to the uh, boot sequence so it, uh, so it won't go into Windows without this password. So it's a, it's a double layer of security. If you got if you got a password in your Windows startup, this one will come before that one, and it'll it'll just give two layers of security for you. And you don't want to set the password the same as your Windows password, so you want to make it different. So, okay, now when you <clears throat> this is the this is the ten dollar gateway I got from the thrift store. Okay, when you're on when you're starting up, you want to press F two. Keep pumping F two. We're gonna go into setup. Okay, now we're pumping F2. Keep pumping F2. I just heard a little beep. Okay, now we're in the setup. Okay. We're going to scroll it over on the right arrow. Use the right arrow. We're going to go over to security. I hit it twice and we moved over to security. Now it says system password, supervisor password. There's none. There's none set right now, and, and this is going to keep everybody from going in here and making any changes. You got to set that. That's what it says over here on the right. Supervisor password controls the access to the setup utility. And see, that's where we're at. We're in the setup utility. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and say enter here. We're going to set a password for that. Enter. And it's asking me to set a password, so I go ahead and put a password in there. And then we'd say enter. And the same password again. Confirm it. And enter. Changes have been saved. Continue. Say enter again. Okay, now I'm trying to get down here to... This is the one I'm talking about, the boot. It's going to boot. When you're booting up into Windows, it's going to stop them from booting if they don't have a password. Boot on... on so we want to enable that. So go down. Scroll down the down arrow. Down and down one more. Okay, now we're going to say enter. And we're going to go down one arrow to, to enable. Move the arrow down one and then say enter. Okay, now it's enabled. See, we changed that word from disabled to enabled. Now when the computer starts, it won't boot up. It won't start up without uh, this password. So now I'm going to exit. F10, we're going to say save and exit. F10. And then you get this box here. Save configuration changes and exit now. So we're going to, it's on yes. So we're going to say enter. Okay, now it should be trying to start. And uh, uh, my win I got Windows 7 Ultimate on here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It won't start up now without the password. See, now it's asking for the password. So the password we just entered, only we know that, so we're going to put it in there. It's going to keep everybody out of our Windows. Plus, I had a password in Windows, too, in Windows 7. I'll show you how to change that later. Make sure, make sure they're different passwords from the one I just put in to the one coming up here in uh, the Windows Start here. That way you got a double layer of protection here. Nobody can get in. You'll see another password come up here. There it is. The, the, that's the password in Windows. So you want to make sure that's a different password. I already set that one earlier. I'll show you how to do that one later. And then it just goes on and continues into Windows. Alright, uh, like and subscribe, leave comments.